Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. This morning I've been working on getting my excuse me, uh, garden map done for my cut flowers. And I just finished it and I kind of wanted to go over it with you guys, show you what the plan is, what I'm planting for those cut flower beds, um, and kind of how I'm going about it. So this plan, I actually, um, I got it from Blossom and Branch Farm. I will leave a link to their video in the description below for you guys. Um, but I adapted it a little bit for my specific rows. So her plan was a four foot by eight foot raised bed. My beds are a little bit differently sized and they're not in a raised bed. They're more of a slightly raised row. Um, and mine measured to be about two and a half feet by 13 feet. So I had to tweak it a little bit to make it work for me. Um, but I think I have it pretty well laid out. And in her plan, she talked about succession planting so that you're not getting all of your flowers all at one time. You're getting them throughout the season and that way you have flowers all season long instead of at one, one time. So that is what I did. I set up my, my rows here to be succession planting over, I think it's like every two weeks starting today, <clears throat> we'll get another batch of flowers in the ground. Um, and then it'll continue doing that all the way up until the end of June. So we will have flowers consecutively all through, um, all through summer and hopefully through the fall as well. So let me show you my plan and kind of walk you through it and um, what I'm going to be doing over in my cut flower rows. So here is my cut flower plan. Um, this is like where the chicken run is and then the four rows. This row up here is just for peonies. I have two pinks on the end, a white, and then I'm pretty sure this is a pink one. Um, but it's one that I planted last year and it's never bloomed for me before and I don't remember what color it is. So I just put it in the middle and hopefully it's a pink one. Um, and then I have the three new rows that I put in strictly for... Uh, the cut flowers. So I'll be planting sunflowers, amaranth, cosmos, dahlias, zinnia, and calendula. So I went ahead and I kind of color coded everything. So amaranth is in red, calendula is in orange, cosmos green, sunflowers dark blue, zinnia is light blue, and dahlias are purple. And then I also highlighted um, the weeks that I'll be planting, fall and their date as well. So sunflowers are in this back row because they are the tallest. North is here. So my sun goes from this side to this side, east to west. And so you want your tallest flowers at the back so we're not casting shade on the shorter flowers. So this is all sunflowers here. And they are um, nine flowers per square foot. And then we're going to consecutively plant them every two weeks. So this one will get planted today. And then this one will get planted on June 2nd, June 16th, and June 30th. That also, the same planting schedule will go for the amaranth, the cosmos, and the calendula. And then, so moving on from there, we have the amaranth, which are four plants per square foot. Cosmos, which are two per square foot. Dahlias are one per square foot, and they are all going to get planted today. <clears throat> if I have that many, I might need to go and buy some more, but all the ones that have sprouted um, are going to get planted today. Zinnias are two per square foot, and calendula are four per square foot. So all of the ones that are in yellow and the dahlias are getting planted today. And then I'm just going to follow this schedule all the way up until the end of June to have cut flowers all summer long. So that is my plan for my cut flower beds this year. I'm hoping this works out really well and that I can stay on top of the consecutive planting because I've never really done consecutive planting before. So that's something new for me. 
um, but I understand why in this case it's important because you don't want all of these flowers all at one time and then you don't have flowers for your the entirety of the season. So spacing them out like this every two weeks or weekly is going to ensure that I have blooms all season long, which means I have bouquets to sell all through summer and all through the fall, which is super important if I wanna keep bouquets out and um, keep my business going. So I'm going to gather up my seeds and my dahlia tubers, and we're gonna go start planting in the rows. Um, Oh, before we do that, let me show you the flowers that I picked for my cut flowers this year. So here are the varieties that I picked. I picked a pink and purple zinnia, some yellow calendula. The amaranth is like this really pretty, like burgundy color. A white and red sunflower, and then these white and pinky cosmos and then the dahlias are a bunch of different colors so i figured this group of colors is going to go really well together um, and give me a really well balanced beautiful summer bouquet let's start planting
Alrighty guys, so I got the first round of all of my cut flowers in the ground. We did sunflowers, amaranth, cosmos, dahlias, zinnias, and calendula. And so next Friday I get to do another round of zinnias and then the following Friday I get to do another round of everything and then two weeks again and then two weeks again and then by the end of June I should have all of my flower seeds in the ground and lots of flowers on the way. If you guys have any questions about um, how to map out your flowers, how to make a plan, um, any of that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I love answering your questions and I love helping you guys do the best that you can on your own homestead. And so I just love answering your questions and helping you guys along. If you guys like this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button because that really helps out my channel and it's a great way to support me as a YouTuber and a homesteader and helps me bring really good content to you guys. So thank you so much for subscribing. Alrighty guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.